is definitely still freaking out. But can I pick up objects again? Ah, oh, thank goodness. Okay, the game's fixed. Ish. Ooh. More weapons to destroy. <laughs> Alright, well that was a weird problem, but it's gone now, so there's that. Is that the vent? You're hiding a vent around me some around here somewhere. Now I want to know where it is. We had to go down, yeah. We had to go down a path a while. So this is the hallway where we went where we're crouching through. It's under these vents. So it's through here to the left. It's hiding somewhere around here. There's a ground vent. Not by the reployers. Could it genuinely go into a new room of some sorts? Like right around here ish, I thought. I guess we'll try upstairs and see if that reveals anything as we go, because it was a jump up compared to everything else. It makes some sense to be in here. Is there like a phantom in here? A spooky ghost man? I'm getting dramatic, violent sounds. Well, did not see where you were, it just ran based on the sound. And this is his barber chair, where he gets his barbery done. Not the right word at all. Jada Marks. This is Captain Jada Marks. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos One. Best guess, based on telemetry data, Advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... Oh, and that's it. Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos-1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Marks out. Until, so, okay. So she had a change of heart of sorts. Kind of. So, the issue here is that this thing fired off, they think, 30 minutes before the Advent attacked. Or the Typhons. Are they called the Advent? Shit, this is, I'm mixing up all our sci-fi names now. The Typhons attacked, and they think that that thing took off first, and that it should be safe. But, if it's not safe, it's a huge problem, and they don't have much information to go on. And, uh... She seems to have changed her mind because she went in favor of just getting all the pods out that she could, despite the fact that she's talking about the fact that maybe no one should survive or be able to leave or something. She seems to have gone pro-January and anti-January, essentially. And she died defending as many people as she could. She's the captain, and she could not figure out this decision, which was probably something made hours ago when she made the, the recordings and died and stuff, but now this is happening right now. It comes down to one or the other, and I have gotten here just in time for the last five minutes, which is ter- ah. Fucked up, so basically, they're gonna go away, and land on Earth, and maybe infect it, or they're fine and nothing's wrong. So they- or to execute them, which means straight up killing human beings, unsuspecting from a distance, without even talking to them or anything. And uh, when they might not even e they might not even be infected in the first place, this is a really cool scenario to just freaking throw at you in the middle of the game like this. That's a that's a great idea to just wander in on a time limit decision that somebody else didn't make because they're dead, and now you're just living with it. What even happens if you click on this? Just nothing. Yeah. 
Huh. Well, I'm not gonna blow him up. I don't know if I could. If this was a- even if I knew that- if this was- if this was real, I mean, and it turned out that they were- and that when we knew that they were going to be a risk or whatever, I don't know if I even could press the button then, frankly. And so far I've been saving people, so I'm gonna go down that dangerous path for a bit longer, I suppose, and we'll see what- how it- how it results in my story. Should be interesting, huh? What's that box? Oh, you. Oh, it's another one of you guys. You guys are hidden everywhere, holy crap. Grants resistant to Psycho Shock. Decreases the uh, cooldown timer of Psy Powers. Alright. Grants resistance to Psycho Shock sounds pretty good. Let's see. Faster scanning. We're, run we're, we're needing less and less scanning in general, I feel like. I'll remove that and grab this one for some resistance there. Our suit's doing fine. Alright. Do I want what's on you? I don't even have room for the EMP charge. Damn. Wait, I don't have room for the EMP charge, but I have, I have inventory. I, had, I already had one inventory space beforehand. Okay, now we're good. I must have ch changed my inventory a little bit before then. Okay, so this is getting to be a problem. Find a nice corner like this one, where the items can't get away from me. And I'm going to drop, 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 drop. Holy crap, that was a lot of them. All right. And maybe I can get lucky with some of the Typhon materials and stuff like that. Let's just drop everything and see what gets recycled. Blarg! Physics! How do you feel about physics, fuckers? <laughs> no, come back! Good evening, Talos. A word from our security chief, Ms. Alizar. To protect your co-workers' privacy, security terminals are reserved there we go. for authorized uses only. Bunch of mineral if material right there. Uniform, that was nice. Probably not authorized. And now my inventory is nice and spacious again, until the next time it does that again. I hopefully didn't miss anything or lose any somehow, because that would really suck. That would really suck. I kind of just want to wait this out. Is it ready yet? Oh. The last minute now. <laughs> Should check in on the other uh, emails for a moment while we look at, wait for that. PA system. Station-wide announcements are pre-recorded and played according to regularly scheduled rotation. I can turn off the entire PA system. That's pretty funny. Evacuation announcement. Emergency evacuation message cannot be triggered without authorization of Alex U. Stop me. Oh. They stopped me, actually. As it turns out. Awkward. Let's see. Get there. <laughs> I want to see if January has anything to say about it. Oh, oh wait, Advent was the name of the shuttle, wasn't it? Huh? Crap, I probably should have read those emails about the shuttle real quick. I still can. I think I can. Can't I go there from here in emails? Yeah, shuttle Advent. Uh, from Drew Springer to Jada Marks. Captain Marks, before it's too late, I thought you need to know the shuttle Advent departed just before the first alarms. They did go through standard inspection, but that was before we knew what to look for. If they land on Seattle with one of those things on board... I've enabled the, the scuttle charges on Advent. They can be activated remotely from the bridge. It's in your hands, Captain. They will touch down soon. For, what, soon. for what's worth, they have no idea the scuttle charges are enabled. Are you there? From Sarah Elazar to Jada Marks. Captain Marks, your transcribe is offline. I can't reach you. And I know you wouldn't leave Talos while there was still a crew aboard. I know it's a long shot, but if you get this message, contact me. I'm in Cargo Bay at the moment. I have a handful of survivors with me. Well, now. So no new update at all on the shuttle, so nothing to change my mind. Getting a weird number of double notifications for quests in this game. 
where it tells me twice that I did the objective. Well, there. There it goes. It's arrived in Seattle now. No undoing that. I don't know if we're gonna get any follow-up on what happened, unfortunately. This is the captain's chair. You sit back in there and get a bunch of screens on top of all those screens. Gotta be a hell of a room to be in. It's neat. Huh. Well, I made the decision. No uh, remark from January. That's the second time now where I've let humans escape and January doesn't even, like, chastise me or react in any way. Makes me wonder what her motivations are and how her brain works and so on. Oops. That wasn't, uh... That was the wrong direction to throw that in. I might have broken something. Whoops. But that was not an item to pick up that way. Flight Lots Log Scott, uh, Scott Parker. Have I read this one yet? Earth liftoff was 900. Conditions minimal. Pre-check certified for uh, executive passengers mail cargo. Uneventful. Yeah. Passengers were clueless to the entire encounter. We read this entire thing when we were on Scott Parker's shuttle a while ago, so I am... Well aware of its contents already. Guy got killed by a couch. There you go, buddy. It's unfortunate. Some physics going on there. Maybe he wasn't supposed to be dead like that. He was sit there was there's clearly cards here, like they were sitting here playing cards. And he's under the couch. It seems to imply that maybe the couch was supposed to be he was supposed to be laying on the couch dead, but he instead was under the couch. Which was a strange sight. Clearly an attack happened while they were here. Brutal attack, yeah. Alright, well one way or another I let that, that crew go, so we'll see what the outcome of that is if it ever comes up again. So far I'm saving people. Probably don't need you. Let's go up here. Just thought I'd check it out up here. What are you hiding from me, game? I want all your secrets! Even in the rafters. I'll look, damn it. I'm gonna look, damn it. You There wasn't anything here this time, there was there. We have a crew we have a captain that very much went down with her ship. There's one bridge crew alive. Maybe worth tracking down. Oh, that's where it ended up. <laughs> the thing I threw went through the glass right there. Huh. Oh yeah, there's, uh, Scott Parker's shuttle right there. I can see you! R.I.P. Oh, interesting. Its movement appears to be perfectly in sync with the outer ring. I wonder if that's because it's actually attached to the outer ring, and that's how it renders. Or if, uh... Is this a 3D model or not? I assume it is a 3D model. They could pull some 2D tricks with some of that stuff, but I think this is actually ultimately... All a real 3D model of what it looks like outside. They did some really cool tricks with these, with the glass panel stuff. That stuff's fun. I can't help but be bothered by the fact that I never figured out where that grate was. Do I want to know where that grate was? Hello. Physics problem. Oh, I did it again. Sorry. It bothers me, I don't know where you are. I grab onto like a ledge here. Okay. If I grabbed a physics object, I could stand on it. Not you. Get out of here. There we go. You're a stool. Can't I grab stuff when I'm in lane? Maybe I can only do that from above. I'm just screwed. I mean, if I can only pick it up from above, then there's no way to do this. Not really doing me favors here, physics. Alright. Well, I think that's not gonna work out, so I'm gonna move on, but... I can't help but be curious about everything all the time! Just wanna know all the game's secrets all the time. This is such a- this is such an enjoyable game to play alongside, uh... Zelda. Now, the question is, did anyone make it to the escape pods? Oh. That's where the one living person is. Have you ever been half awake?
Oh, those surprised me. Hit that nest. Oh, they're blown up. They can't handle the physics. They all dead? We've got Sadie Hall, Gordon Blitz. Like no survival rate here, huh? Stone Blanchard. What was that? Pods are continuing to be empty, mostly. No Typhon or humans inside. Oh, I think the inklings of a hit of a health bar there. There you are. <laughs> One stray foe wandering around. Taken care of. Well, unfortunately, every single escape pod is still here and empty. So it appeared that zero people successfully escaped, and it was a total shit show. Up, nope, up, up. Physics. Okay. Try again. There we go. I think that's all that's going to be here. Yeah, the first escape pod area we found was pretty eventful with like a whole quest thing going on, like a bunch of surprises. Ever since then, though, they've been pretty straightforward of like, eh, a couple corpses, maybe one phantom and a few other minor enemies. Just indicating the fact that that kind of stuff needs to exist all over the ship. And so it's just kind of they're kind of like obligatory locations at most at this point. All right, it's a worthwhile little journey around though. Let's get back to the arboretum. And from here we need to get the deep storage, where everything points to. It's actually really convenient that I found that particular character by wandering really far off course and rescued them and then got them to my office and then visited them in my office and so on. Because they also want me to go to the art, the deep storage, right? Let's see. Search Alex's room for the escape pod key. I never did- I never found it, did I? Oh, it's in, it's in crew quarters, not the Arboretum. It's a different room. Whoops, that's, that's his office up there. That makes sense. Yeah, so... We have Grant Lockwood, the fired employee. He's supposed to be in deep storage. Let's see. Captain Mark's supposed to have a golden gun in crew quarters. Michaela's father. There's supposed to be a terminal that talks about them in deep storage. Those are just the smuggling group. And then more, yeah, a lot of references to crew quarters going on all over the place. Okay. Yeah, let's do the, uh, let's get the growth formula, formula fabricated. Or right, double check the context of that real quick. Let's see. Station botanist Julian Howard came up with a new formula he says could revolutionize food by giving humans that eat it an immediate health boost. The fabrication plan for the formula was on his body, and the formula itself can be used at the sprinkler system and operate him repeatedly to yield a beneficial fruit. That's pretty good. Yeah, it'd give me a farmable resource, essentially. Oh. Woo! Guess who's back? Nightmare's back. He saw me. He saw me, and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Are you just camping up there? 
Dude. Not nice. Go away. I'm sneaking now. You can't see me. <laughs> can't see me regardless, but yeah. This would be a bad spot to fight him, probably. I don't know. He might not even be that tough. Definitely feels like he was framed as being a character that'd be tough, though. Good evening, Talos. This is a reminder that the identity of guests visiting Talos is strictly confidential. Shit! Okay. Well, I get more materials for my crafting, so that's nice. <laughs> Interesting to have the quest essentially restart repeatedly when he comes back. Weird. Huh. Alright, so let's go get the fabrication done then, huh? Oop. Corrupted military operator. That's a new one. Where did you land? Probably not a good thing to have attacking me is something called a military operator, because it's probably designed for combat. So having those ones get corrupted is probably bad news. I have no idea where its remains landed, so I don't know how to loot it. May just have to accept my fate there. Oh! That's where I am. Damn it. You broke both of them? God damn it. It really does feel like that stuff just breaks when you walk away. Where's the other one? Oh, it's just knocked over. Oh, hey. At least there's that. I've noticed that glass objects unbreak themselves. I broke the crap out of this thing, now it's just one broken surface. It confirms the fact that it's broken so it's not gonna run and stuff like that. But it doesn't, uh... It goes back to being displayable-ish, I think. I think the goal is that if you, uh, if they wanted to show something on it lately, later, they could, because it's mostly back to normal at that point. Anyone else? Holy crap, this place repopulated fast. Fast, fast. I'm just trying to make that schematic I found. Anyone else in here? That I need to know about? Alright. How are we doing on dupe weapons now? Let's see. Oh, there's you guys. Don't think I have a dupe weapon at the moment. We're back to being at a decent supply again. Damn, I have a lot of bullets now. Cool. Vodka. Gin. Tiny stack that takes up too much space. I'm gonna get rid of some of those just because they take up too much space. Okay. That is a lot. There we go. Alright, let's look into this new thing I found. Dr. Howard's growth formula. Oh! Get some use out of those... ...bio pieces. I used organic stuff, hooray! Except that was- that was just enough that I can't get five of these now, though, because I have... 14 instead of 15. Unfortunate. Still. The pattern repeats itself. Yes! Level me, baby. Level me. It's gonna feel really silly when I hit a point where I've, I can no longer even use them anymore because I've found, ran out of things to buy besides the stuff that turns me into an alien. And then I'll be like, finding more everywhere and I'll be like, what do I even do with these? Why did I do that? No regrets. 
Boom, 300 hit points. The combat focus bonuses. Probably not a terrible idea. Bonus damage, reduced stamina, longer duration. 10 seconds, 12 seconds, and eventually 15 seconds of duration. Or I can go down the upgrade path. Let's do bonus combat focus next. There we go. All in a good place. Got that growth formula. Look how long that health bar is now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think this particular recording session I started off not even having the previous upgrade yet, so I had I was down to like 125 or 150 or something like that. Like that's a uh, it's gone up a lot over the course of the single playthrough, and now it looks almost weird with how much is sticking out. I knew somebody could see me because there was spooky music. But I didn't know where. Always with the skittering. Sprinklers! That's not where I put it though. How do I- where do I put it specifically? Oh, the actual sprinkler controls. I must be able to add it? Right, this is the little side shed. Oh yeah, this whole thing. I remember you. It is the fertilizer dispenser. I yeah, probably put you here. There you go. Dispense. Dispense. Did you dispense? Hopefully. Harvest your fruit after the growth cycle is complete. Did we only put it here? And not like the giant shed in the other room? Huh. I thought we'd want to spread it across the entire greenhouse, but I think you just use it there. Weird, the door's not set to open? Oh, I locked that specific door, didn't I? Fix that. It was it dispensed through here or no? Not much going on here. It may be time to just wait for this uh, apparent growth cycle. Huh. That one email may have somewhat over exaggerated the growth speed. Because they were talking about like it growing right before my eyes. Oh my god. But I don't know if it's that fast. Or at least I didn't see any changes happening yet. Maybe later. And you? And and you? Thank you. Alright. Deep storage it is then. Ooh. That's important. We went and found ourselves another airlock. I wonder how many airlocks are still left to unlock. There gotta be a lot of them at this point. Let's see. I think it tells us that here. Yeah, airlock, airlock, airlock. I've, I believe I've been to power plant and psychotronics, shuttle bay, hardware labs. Yeah, I probably opened every single one of those airlocks at this point. Neat. And at this point, we've been to every location in the game except crew quarters and deep storage. I wonder. We might be close to being the game, or I might just be close to fully succeeding at reaching every location once, but then maybe it gets significantly hard to get around after that point. Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes. If they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy. But look, don't do anything stupid. Okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle. Where are you?
Well, there's a crazy move. Danielle tied this door to her voice. It's unlikely Chief Sho is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Well, now. We found one document previously, at least, of Danielle's show, because it says I'm at 20% already. So I need to go find more evidence of her voice. And that's why we're going to crew quarters, and that's how I get access to it. Forward and Baffles treasure map. There's treasure, apparently. And B2? Treasure map for a horde and baffle flag disastrous. What the f Why is that on your bo- Okay, and why'd your briefcase have an- like, Your briefcase had an- Had a- Had one- Oh, the words. Gravity, auspicious, entropy, pencil. Interesting. That was weird though, you had a freaking- Banana in his suitcase. Okay. Up we go. Gotta find more more voice samples of this character so we can put it together. Maybe her maybe they'll just have the right words. Or maybe they maybe we will need to find so many we can splice it together. Are you broken too? You are broken too. Yeah, these poor turrets. I I thought it would be really fun to have turrets everywhere and create like defenses for myself and stuff like that as I explored. But that started breaking down the moment we started getting to the hardware labs, and we realized that this whole game is, like, separated into zones everywhere. Never, never from this one, did we? Yeah, they gave us the other storage room key. Uh, once we found out that the, the place was separated into zones with loading screens so you can't take the turrets through, that started breaking down. Then it started really breaking down when I realized that when you come back, the turrets are pretty much always 100% broken, no matter where you left them. I don't think the game necessarily even like, runs a simulation and kills them. I think that they just die automatically when you leave. It's somewhat frustratingly. Just if enemies have, in fact, spawned in the meantime. Which is kind of a bummer. Hey, there's a speaker. Gotta break eventually at this rate. <laughs> is he Colton? Alright, so we are going somewhere new, just not the new place we thought we were going to. Crew quarters. Got access. 